I have literally filmed this video like five times. Um, yeah, I'm so frustrated right now. Hi, everyone. New background. I'm redoing my room, so yeah, it won't be done for a couple months, but as soon as it's finished, I will show a room tour to you. And I just realized for the first 30 seconds I was not looking into the camera, so sorry about that, but I like to see what I'm doing. <laughs> yes, I am going to be doing kind of a back to school advice survivor survival guide type thing, so I will be looking at my phone for notes that I took. Number one thing is your first impression. You want to make a good first impression on your teachers, on the student body, just like the school population in general. Um, you don't want to come off as rude or defiant or disrespectful in any way and not committed. So it's always good to put your best step forward, especially during your first month of school. I know some people don't like to wear like, you know, like dress up clothes, but I'm not saying that. I'm just saying look put together, look neat, look how, you know, look presentable have good behavior towards your teachers so don't don't like on the first couple weeks don't be talking to your friends constantly because they will automatically think of you as talkative and disruptive and those kind of things and you don't want them to think that you want them to think that you are a great student and that you are fully committed to the lesson so please pay them due respects and you should do this always but especially make sure of it that first month so they can get a good first impression of you because your first impression can make or break your year and you definitely need teacher recommendations when college time rolls around and you're not going to get them if you were disrespectful and rude so don't do that don't do that number two is it's a new year and with the new year comes a fresh new start if you're trying to try anything new like a new look whether that's a makeup look or a style thing or you want to try to do something different with your hair or you just want to come off as a different person in general it's best to start that at the beginning of the year so now's your chance to prove yourself as a new you or an rather i should say an improved version of you i mean now's the chance for you to just kind of start fresh so make sure you take advantage of that opportunity, let go of any negative things of the past and just focus on the new year in general and making this one of your best school years ever. Number three is grades. Yes, your grades are your number one priority when you are in school. So make sure that you keep your GPA up. And I would suggest a 3.0 or above. Just maintain your grades, do your homework, do your classwork, and turn things in on time because I a lot of my teachers had no late work policies so you would get a big fat egg zero if you didn't turn in your work so turn in your work and do your homework and classwork and your grades should be fine just maintain your gpa another thing that could kind of go along with grades is honors classes or ap classes and if you were not taking any then that's perfectly fine but i feel like if you have a very very high a in a class that is an on-level class or like your grade level and that's not honors, then I suggest opting for an honors class because it will look so much better in your college application. I feel like they're more likely to take somebody with a B in an honors class than somebody with an A in an on-level class, so do that too. Number four is friends, and friends come and go. People change. Friends do impact your life a great bit, so if you have any any negative people in your life or any negative friends that don't benefit you in any way, you just need to like get rid of them because they're not helping you and they are just, you know, constantly dragging you down with them. Don't go after a boy or a girl and, and like leave your friends there because friends are more of a lifetime thing and a boyfriend or girlfriend, especially in middle school and high school, is not necessary at all. I mean, go with the friend, you know, don't push your friends away, especially when you break up with that person, who are you going to have? No one. It might seem hard to make friends, but trust me, I'm the most antisocial person ever and I made a lot of new friends. So join clubs and stuff because that will open you up to a ton of new people. Trust me. I know. I know. Um, yes, school is stressful and yes, grades are stressful and yes, everything about school is stressful and you just want to get it over with. But make sure you're having a good time. Don't stress yourself out and don't psych yourself out for testing things because it will just make make it worse believe it or not my grades were better in the first semester than the second semester because the second semester i was just stressing the entire time and i wasn't having the time of my life i have three more years till i'm an adult so i'm just trying to like live it up you know like whoa because you know childhood is not forever so just have fun and have a great year if you enjoyed this video then make sure you give me a thumbs up and if you didn't enjoy this video then give me a thumbs up too because 
it helps. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button or you can click my picture that will be probably like right here. Yeah, if you see that picture of me, then click it because it will take you to my channel so you can subscribe to me. And I have 30 subscribers, which is awesome. It might not seem a lot to you, but it means the world to me. And let's go for your goal. Let's go for 100. So share this video with your friends who need it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Follow my social media. The links are in the description. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>